a little bit, and you've got a little history with KPFT. Tell folks about it. I did, and I'm really grateful for uh, the, the, the songwriters I learned about listening to KPFT. Gordy and I got to know each other. We were both living and working in Houston. We were working in the oil and gas business mm -hmm. and writing songs secretly in our offices. <laughs> uh, but uh, driving in in the morning, uh, listening to KPFT, uh, Teddy Thompson's one of my uh, favorite songwriters, the son of Richard and mm -hmm. Linda Thompson. And uh, I first I heard his debut album on KPFT, and uh, and uh, really just too too many to try to try to list. But uh, Houston radio has made a lot of cha changes in the ten years since I've lived here, sure and is. and but the constant has been you know you and uh, this and this station, and uh, that's. Uh, you know, where else are you gonna hear Matt the Electrician? You know, John Evans. You know, Widespread Panic. You know, Kinky Kinky Friedman. You know, yeah. Billy Joe Shaver. Nowhere yeah. else. So. Absolutely. So I'm I'm grateful for you guys and the, and just to be able to share this uh, this new music for for anybody that makes a pledge. Um, man, that's the least I can do. Well, hey, we appreciate you bringing some stuff in, some little goodies besides the great music and just uh, just putting your music out there and keeping it real, and we appreciate uh, what you do for the Texas music scene. And I uh, appreciate you bringing in these CDs, and he'll sign one for you, and we'll put it in the mail for you for a $90 pledge. He's got one on vinyl, brand new one, Mountain Home on vinyl, and he'll sign that one for you, too, for a $120 pledge. There's only one of those, so, Owen, we appreciate you uh, bringing all those goodies in, and uh, you, you, when was the first time you played here? Do you remember when you, you know, stepped Lord, in? I, th I think it might have been like uh, maybe 2001, mm -hmm. maybe 2001, maybe 2000. I had uh, moved here from Austin, made, had made a couple of albums living in Austin, moved to Houston, lived over pretty close to Shepherd and, and Woodhead, and uh, I remember the uh, kayaker coming down Highway 59 when it was flooded after right. uh, after uh, Tropical Storm Allison and so we've got a lot of vivid memories and good memories about, about Houston. West Alabama Ice House was uh, walk walking distance from the house. Thank goodness yeah. it was walking distance. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it's still going strong. Yeah. So um, um, yeah, have, have a lot of good memories about Houston and actually you know play here just about every. Every couple of weeks. Now you were uh, you were doing the nine to five thing, and you decided yeah. you were playing music on the side. What mm -hmm. what made you finally decide to jump ship and do this full time? I'll tell you what. It was getting off of work uh, at, at the bank uh, and uh, going down to open for uh, Guy Clark at wow. Garden in the Heights. Right. It's kind of like you know what, this is kind of special. This is kind of special. And got to meet Guy and and uh, talk to him. It, I remember it was a Thursday night. It was that Garden in the Heights, and um, man, it just it started raining. It started raining. It was supposed to be outside. I was like, oh no, this can't, this can't be canceled. But we moved it inside. The that was a great little, venue. Little venue yeah. there. And it felt kind of like a high school talent show, you know, because it was so so small. And <laughs> it does kind of look like an old gym. Yeah, you know, yeah, an old gym. And I mean, guy and you know, Verlin Thompson was, was sitting to the side, and we were, you know, it was kind of like what? Well, kind of felt like we were about to go do a play, you know, like. <laughs> Like Hamlet or something, you know, maybe God be Polonius. And so, so did you show up work Friday morning? Or did I did show up, and I said, you know what, I, I, you know, I, that was when I made the decision and just to uh, see where this road led, and uh, it's had twists and turns and ups and downs, but you, uh, but that's the same way with this radio station, you know, you just, uh, pe people have take, taken, you know, good care of me in a certain way, you know, they buy the CDs when they come out, and they come to the shows, and I know the same is true for you. For you guys, you know, it's just an act of faith to keep to keep it going and keep the yeah. music and keep it from you know being a corporate, you know. Well, right. well what does yeah. the focus group say we should play? You know, <laughs> yeah, you right. Know? Or you know, even even me writing a song, I've always you know tried to write a song that I thought told a story or captured you know the truth of it. I know, and uh, and y'all and you got and I know that there's a home for it when I record it because you guys are going to play it. So it's it's definitely a two way street and so. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, Rourke. Sure. Thanks, Susan, and everybody up here. You know that uh, only 6% of people that listen to KPFT are members? That's right. 94% just listen. Six out, of, six out of 100. And, yeah. Uh, well, those other 94, I think it's your, I think it's their day. I think, I think I th today's I think, the day. I think I think, I think uh, they're going to realize, oh, I think Rourke's talking about me. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And you know what? feels pretty good. Yeah, you know, we're talking about you, you know. Once you do it, you, you will feel better about listening to KPFT when it's all said and done.